Hello everybody, welcome. So I have a lot of plans for today's episode. First I want to defeat Jad and get my fire cape and for that I will be training my hunter level. I need 63 to get uh, to start hunting chins to get my ranged up with the chinning method at the monkey minus 2 caves. And I think I will be getting 99 hunter with this method because I need a lot of chins. Next I want to unlock the rest of the quests with the renowned points that I get. I'm saving a lot of points right now, so this should be easy. Then I want to reach tier 6. And finally, I want to start to unlock some bosses. And those can be skilling bosses or combat bosses. But I want to start bossing at, in this episode. So yeah, this is the plan. Hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So I want to do birdhouse runs, so for that I need to build a workshop on my house to get clockwork mechanisms. Then I, I need to build here workshop table number one, <laughs> I don't know the name. Yeah, crafting table number one. And then upgrade to the crafting table number two. And there it is, a clockwork mechanism. Now I can do birdhouse runs. And first task of the episode, building a U birdhouse, nice. I will be staying here till level 63 because I really need to catch red chinchompas and this spot is really good for XP, like 3k each salamander you catch, so pretty good. Level 63, we can now catch red chinchompas. Yo, look at this, look at this sad effect. This is just like Trailblazer. Tra trailblazer, bro. <laughs> but yeah, this, this set effect is just like the relic that we had on Trailblazer. That you can go at whatever you want and come back wherever you were. So it's pretty cool. 50 Chinchompas catched. Guys, I was just AFKing while I was editing a video. And yeah, I got the pet. <laughs> I got the fishing pet, bro. <laughs> awesome. So now I have two pets, two skilling pets, the go the mining one and the fishing one. So before I start to hunt Chinchompas, I really need to get Chinchonka's Fragment at level 3. Because at level 3, it gives 100% more XP and you catch two Chinchonkas, two Chinchompas instead of one. So I really need to get this Fragment up. Let's train a bit. Agility is really amazing. You get so much money with a Golden Brick Road. And it's super good to train the other fragments because you get a lot of XP. So it's pretty nice. Ooh, Chinchonkers level 3. Nice. <laughs> We're now ready to catch Chinchompas and this was amazing. So much money made. Yo, 315k, man. I think I will stay here till level 80. And level 80. In a main game, this is a fucking awful grind, but here in leagues, super, super easy. Because I managed to get 646k and a ton of fragments on Grave Robber all. But yeah, 646k and 45 marks of grace. Wow, it's fucking dead. And there's a task, bucket of super compost. I, I need to get super compost because I don't want my Renars to die. So, okay, ended the farm run with 13 Renars. Okay, not bad. It could be better, but okay. Hope this is a good one. Hmm. When you're farming, it gives 25% more chance of being doubled. Not bad. And what it marks is always noted and doubled. This is amazing for farming. Yo, Chinchonker's Fragment is OP as fuck, man. Like, this is so fast. And... 99 hunter bro this was so fast man i like this cape okay so now i want to get my stats up including prayer i will do holy grail king's ransom and then the plague rounds training rounds training room holy grail completed so much xp on prayer and defense king's ransom completed Almost 400,000 XP on defense, 75, pretty good. Using this lamp on prayer. Ended up with 61 prayer. Look at this, almost 1 million XP drop, <laughs> 240 on each melee skill. Much tankier now, 77 defense, nice. 
When I never did this before. I think it's going pretty well. Yo, I didn't knew this. They drop prayer pots with one dose. This is an amazing way to get prayer pots. Now I teleport out, recharge my prayer, and get right back there. Easy as that. So we, did, we ended up with almost 90 range from level 55 to almost 90 ranged. This is my setup with mithril darts. I think mithril darts are not enough for defeating jets, so I'm unlocking the elf quest line to get my crystal bow. Unlocking it for 40 points, we now get access to Prefdinas. And we have enough points to unlock all of it, so... <laughs> Dragon Slayer 2 unlocked. And the last one, the troll questline. And now, we have all the quests unlocked. Crystal Bow. Thank you very much. And equipping the Crystal Bow, that's the task. So, to defeat Jad, I will be using Drakan's Tooth because it has a lot of life still, and Double Tap because it gives two attacks instead of one sometimes, so it's pretty good. And of course, Bottomless Quiver because I don't want to waste the precious Crystal Bow charges. So, yeah, we're ready. Yo, I always preferred the red one, but today I like this one. Like, it's lighter. Tell me what you think. No, 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 Come on, man. One more. And fire cape completed, bro. Finally, man. Finally. Let's equip it. Beautiful. This was something I was procrastinating so much, but no more. Oh, 23 beginner caskets, 7 easy, and 3 medium. Let's see what we got. First interesting item, a Rune Skimitar Ornament Kit. Yo, Mole Slippers. I like this one. Demon Feet, this one is also cool. Finally, it's done. Tier 6, man. One tier to go to unlock all the fragment slots. Didn't get anything too expensive, but the slippers in his head looks amazing with the fire cape. So, we defeated Jed, unlocked all the quests, reached tier 6, now I just need to start bossing. So, for the skilling bosses, I will unlock Temporos, and of course Winter Todd, because I want to get my 99 fire making and a lot of woodcutting and fletching XP there. Obor was like 5 points, so I had to unlock it, let's give him a chance. Actually, I think I got my renown points back. And we got a lot of cool scrolls and rune items, so yeah, it was okay. Bryophyta is also 5 points to unlock, so I had to unlock it. And got 25 points, nice. Yo, first KC and we get 75 league points, not bad. I think I will be staying here at Temporos like till 25-50 KC because this is not my favorite thing to do, but let's see. And there it is, 25 KC. 25 points also. I think I'm done with Temporos for now. Maybe I'll come back later, but uh, I'm done for today. Let's just check real quick what we get. Please, sir, give me the net. Thank you very much. So, nothing special. No dragon harpoon, no nothing. Just some sharks and soap pages. Nothing special. Now, this is a skilling boss that I really enjoy doing. I prefer this so much than Temporos. And there it is, first KC with a 74,000 XP drop and 25 points made. I think I will be staying here till 99. <laughs> this will be super fast. And that's 25 KC. The XP drops here are just unbelievable, man. Crazy, crazy XP. So let's open the crates that we get. I really want to get my Paramancer outfit as soon as possible. Yo, not bad, first crates and we get the top, the hoods and the gloves. Now to complete all the outfit, we just need the legs and the boots. And there they are, the legs. Now we just need the boots. So yeah, let's get back in there, get 99 and hopefully in the process, get the boots also. And this should be it. 99, <laughs> 99 fire making on the account. 
125 points for that. And this is so cool with this rune line plugin. Everybody's dancing. <laughs> Got 99 fire making with just 49 KC and I believe we need 50 KC to get another task, another medium task. So let's just do one more. Okay, task done. 50 KC, let's see the loot. Bro, this is insane. Look at the amount of people. Yo, what's up with this guy? Bro? Are you okay? Let's open this one. Super fast. Nothing. And the last ones. Really need the boots. Boots, please. The boots, man! <laughs> nice! Ah, oh, finished the Pyromancer. Awesome, man. 50 points. Awesome. Yes, sir. And there it is. The fire making skill cape. Beautiful. And let's see the emotes. Well, managed to accomplish everything that I wanted for the episode, so I'm really, really happy. And now that I reached tier 6, the drop rate is 3 times as common and I also can choose my Slayer tasks, so it's really amazing for training Slayer. And I have big plans for bossing and for Slayer for the next episode. So I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope I see you in the next one. Take care guys. Peace.